In this video, we are going to discuss a switch list, what it is and how to set it up. The first thing you need to understand is that a switch list is essentially mapping a set of switches one after the other sequentially and saving the results in a database for later use. A switch list is an automation of the action of manually mapping switches one by one. So first you need to understand how manually mapping a switch works. To quickly summarize how a manual mapping works, you first have to enter the information about the switch. You can click here or press the settings button. You enter the switch IP address, select the SNMP version, and enter the community name if it's version 1 or 2. And these are the basic settings we have. If you are using version 2 or 3, you can set uh, bulk transfers. We recommend probably no more than 8. And then you press OK. One thing about switch lists is, so switch list is actually something called switch groups. What is that? It's quite simple. As you map a switch, you will find that you may get many MAC addresses and very few IP addresses. So what we recommend is talking to other devices, such as a router or a server or a printer or something that has visibility into the VLAN that is served by the switch. So what I'm going to do is select this printer right here. And then you map the switch. This is manually mapping a switch. As it goes through, it collects data from the switch. In this case, it's doing a ping sweep first to pre-populate some things. It tells us the MAC addresses of what's there, the interface manufacturer based upon the MAC address. And then we get LLDP information. This is a Netgear switch, so there's no CDP. Doing a manual mapping is the fastest way to create a switch group. Remember, switch lists are comprised of a list of switch groups. Another way to create switch groups is to use the switch list editors, the device editor, then the switch group editor. After pressing the switch list button in the left panel, press device settings editor. This allows you to create settings for switches and other SNMP devices. Let's look at the devices we already had from the mapping. This is the switch. Let's add it in its descriptive alias so that we can see it in the list. Press OK. Then we'll do the same thing for the printer. Now we have the two devices that we previously used in the manual switch mapping shown in the list. Let's add another switch. We'll add its IP address and we will enter its name. It's a little Zyxel switch if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Now Notice that we have added it to the list of devices as a switch. So let's close this and go to the switch group editor. Remember that switch lists are composed of switch groups. So here we can edit the switch group by simply double clicking on it and we can add a previously defined device as another thing to gather arc tables from. We can enable a pink sweep when the Zyke cell is being mapped, and you can add its range right here. I'm going to go ahead and add its range, and I turned on ping sweep. So when you add a new switch, it automatically adds it to the switch group editor right here. Let's go back and add one more switch. So we go back to device settings editor, we hit add new switch. And that is a Cisco 2960. So we'll close that. Now we're getting ready to create our actual switch list. 
Now that we've created devices and switch groups, it's time to create our first switch list. First thing you have to do is give it a name. I'm going to give it the name Test1. The name can't be changed later, so make it a good name. Right now you see these uh, three check boxes as they are. I'm going to uncheck this because we don't need to see the final report after the switch list is complete. That shows in your web browser. This one saves the switch results individually as XML files as it goes. And this one also shows in the web browser the individual switch reports as it goes. So the first thing you do is add a new group. We're going to add this switch. We're going to add these two by holding down the shift key or the control key and you can add several at the same time. Let's say we want to move this one up to before that set right there. You can move them and change them as you wish. You can delete them. Now you click OK. The switch list is now done. And now you're ready to actually map the switch list. You highlight it and press Map Switch List Now. We selected three switches. It's mapping the first one. As you can see, it's doing the ping sweep down there. It's gathering the data. You can see the MAC addresses appearing. The interface manufacturer based on the MAC addresses. And the rest of it went by too quickly to see. This is a smaller switch. It only has a couple devices. It's going ahead and finishing up now. And this is a Cisco. And now it's complete. An interesting thing to note about this Cisco is it has a PAGP interface going between it and another switch with these two ports. So as you can see, you have the MAC addresses of the other switch, which is 234 right there. And then up here, those are the member ports. This is the uh, channel port or aggregator link aggregation. If you want to export this to Tenscape, simply click here. To review any of the switch mappings that you did as part of a switch list, click on Review History. Then make sure Switch List Mappings is selected here. Select the switch list name and the time. Then double click on one of the switch list items that was in the right panel. Here you can see that one. Then we'll review this one. And back to the last one.